Hi there, I'm Dave with Louette and today we're going to talk about the S10 concept. Tell you all about this wheel, the versatility of it, and how it is such an advantage over the older models. So you can choose between Scotch tension or Irish tension, double treadle, single treadle. I have three different wheel types and we'll go through all the different uh, accessories and things you can order beauty of it as a concept wheel you can order the parts you want when you want and you don't get stuck with extra bobbins if you don't want them so let's take a look at the various components first choice is between uh, double treadle or single treadle Irish tension or Scotch tension the wheel connects by simply uh, these two connection points you would unscrew this flip off the tension remove the flyer and the mother of all comes off and you can shoot and you can put the mother of all for the uh, scotch tension on flyer options for the s10 irish tension you've got a uh, flyer with hooks standard flyer with hooks or a sliding hook that i'll show you with the scotch tension this is a standard bobbin Disconnecting the treadle system the same way, just screwing this on or off. So these are the components for the Scotch Tension. We've got the Scotch Tension Mother of All, uh, the Whirl, Standard Bobbin, or the High Speed Bobbin. Here you have the flyer with hooks, or the bobbin already attached, and here's the flyer with sliding hooks where you slide the hook up and down the shaft in order to allow the yarn to accumulate on your bobbin. This is the high speed spinning set, so it comes with three of the uh, bobbins, a special plug. A couple more accessories to talk about. Here's the fat core uh, bobbin for the Irish Tension. Uh, you can get a high speed bobbin that simply has the fat core removed. The fat core is simulating a partially full bobbin, allowing easier uh, spinning of finer yarns. Uh, same ratios as a high speed bobbin, fits on a standard flyer, as you can see. Second thing is the Lazy Cape Rack. The Lazy Cape Rack fits on, as I showed you here. There's also a position on the S10 double treadle base for a second uh, bar, so you could have two two bobbin lazy gates, so four plying is possible. And so bobbins just fit over top like this. I'll put a standard bobbin on beside it. And you can ply from here. And you can also use this uh, standard lazy gate with bulky bobbins. So with bulky bobbins, you would uh, simply put one bobbin uh, upside down to the other so that, that they fit beside each other without running into each other. There are some earlier versions of the um, bulky bobbin that may not quite fit, but a few years back we modified, I believe it was 2015, we modified the bobbin design so that two could fit on the lazy key rack. So here's the high speed flyer. So you get the three bobbins, a flyer, and a couple other pieces in this packaging. One of them is this is an additional whirl. If you can see that, that would slide right on here to give you a, a fifth whirl. And uh, with the smaller uh, whirl, there's, there's greater ratios. And this fits in here the same way as the other scotch tension plier. And you'll see there's a clip there. Just slip this over top. And oh, I got the bobbin on the wrong way. There we go. Nothing's ever 
perfect. a little bit and then you'd be able to go on with your fire. You can see the bobbin capacity is much smaller for the Scotch Tension high speed bobbins. Back to the Irish Tension format. I want to show you the Art Yarn Flyer. So here we have the Art Yarn Flyer. Very large whirl, or sorry, orifice. Uh, big guides. Sliding uh, guide as well and again very large uh, larger capacity this way so the bobbins are much larger as you can see so we put this flyer on and this art yarn flyer will fit on almost all uh, Louette spinning uh, Irish tension spinning wheels over that were built over the last 45 years there's a few exceptions so we attach the tension and away you're ready to go. So feeding the uh, yarn through these guides as a breeze. Obviously so much so much room. Just use your fingers, no hooks required. My large fingers even fit through the entire orifice. Last thing to look at is the uh, carrying bag for the S10 concept. Got that really nice large zippers. Big cavity. Got a few things in here right now. So the hiding piece here, which allows you to keep the the uh, base and the uh, main wheel separated. Another front pouch here and a nice little logo. So you can carry it around fairly easily. And here's the wheel folded up. You see the double treadle piece here. Main wheel and back post. You've also got a built in little strap here. Velcros to keep the top of the back post tucked in. Lazy Cape and Bobbins and Mother of All fit in the front pouch. And as you can see, there's lots of spare room as well. <laughs>